George, you and I have been through a lot over the years, and uh, the different things that we believe are often determined by our environment. We've both been familiar with many commercial organizations, religious organizations. How can we learn about what we believe from the kinds of organizations in which we, uh, in, in which we are members? Well, many organizations, uh, both commercial and religious, have some type of transcendent purpose that they espouse. Uh, a, um, a organization may particularly believe in some type of afterlife, a religious organization, but a commercial organization may have some type of mantra which deals with insanely great products, for example. And, and sometimes there's relationships that exist between commercial organizations, you can call it, it's been called the Apple Chapel, <laughs> um, and religious organizations and belief systems, people within those organizations oftentimes evolve based upon the mission that's associated with the organization. Do, do you find the, the, the internal personality of the individual, if it's a religious organization or a commercial organization, when you're so caught up in it, the individual has the same kinds of, 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 of reactions, of emotions? Individuals within this the organization, yeah. the same? Yeah, no. yeah, but based on, the, the, if you have a commercial organization, a religious organization, each with a, their own kind of transcendent purpose, right. is the, uh, the impact on the individual similar, even though one may be promising eternal life, and the other may be promising just the wonderful products or bonuses at the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, I think there's meaning that comes that's uh, pretty profound from, from both type of organizations. The, <laughs> the, the, the exact character of the meaning may be changed as far as whether or not the ultimate meaning comes in this lifetime or not. But uh, I think that the, the notion of, the, of intense meaning that's associated with the organizational mission is common and very similar across the organizations. And, and what about the uh, success of the individual within an organization? How much is that dependent on the, uh, the coherence, the commitment that the individual has to the, to the organization and the uh, the, the strength of that, that commitment, that firm bond? Well, I think that um, uh, individuals, there could be a distribution of commitment to, within the organization, given the wide range of individuals that attach to the organization. Some are really tightly bond, bonded, uh, specifically uh, at, a, at a core level, that their, their, their personal meaning is really attached to the organizational mission. Others are much more calculative in as far as the nature of the commitment, that, that it's more tied to reward systems and externalities. But uh, at, at, at the deepest level of commitment, I think you've got this intensity which uh, ties your personal meaning so tightly to the organizational design yeah. and goal. And, and you see that certainly in politics and in religion and, and in less so maybe in commercial organizations. Uh, but. But it's it's a similar kind of feeling. I mean, I've seen that in myself and associating in the past in different different ways. That the 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 energy and the intensity that one puts into that is, is sometimes related to the commitment that you have. Yeah, very definitely. And I, I think that um, in, in extreme cases, and you know, over the last few years, we've seen Apple be, as an extreme case of an organization. It has been compared to religious type of uh, commitment that. Uh, is closed in many ways, very secretive, and uh, definitely tied to uh, a purpose which uh, has to do with changing the world, which is yeah. also a, a, an issue associated with many uh, religious organizations yeah. and political, political organizations. organizations too. Yeah. Right, right. So there's this commonality, I think, that can run across all types of entities. And, and, and to see that, it, it, it would seem that we can generalize to something about the human condition, either seeking that type of transcendent commitment or affected by it or, or uh, success related to it. I mean, it, it certainly seems like there's some sort of a relationship. I think so. And I, th I think that it, it uh, changes, however, over a person's lifetime that uh, someone in early adulthood may be more susceptible to some type of deeper commitment, whereas as it, particularly if they've had a poor experience inside an organization, uh, they may become inoculated towards having the same type of an attachment to the organization over time. Mm. Have you ever experienced something like that? <laughs> I experience it every day. <laughs> yeah. uh, on the other hand, there might be a re-engagement uh, in a different form that, you know, is, is one's able to kind of re-engage with an organization, but many people uh, are more guarded 
after they've had a, a deep type of organizational commitment experience, and then <laughs> something's happened where it's blown up. Uh, the concept of belief systems is uh, a, a, a broad one that has to do with the individual within an environment, and the uh, and there are many different characteristics of that. But but uh, the, the the area that's that's uh, that people often don't talk about is a specific kind of organization. Do you want to talk about the the eth ethnic background or the uh, uh, the geographical area they live in? But the specific organization, the characterizations of the organizations that, that people are in, uh, what, what are the ways that the organization can influence the individual and change a belief system? Well, I think that the organization, organizational leadership is a major dimension. Um, the, the charisma that's associated with political leaders or, or commercial leaders or religious leaders, uh, there oftentimes is something that uh, that uh, defines reality and uh, sometimes enforces belief systems very, very tightly as far as conformity is concerned. Uh, yeah, how important is a leader to an organization to generate the kind of uh, s strong belief system commitment, uh, be it religious, political, or, uh, or commercial? Well, I, I, once again, I think if we go commercial, and initially going back to, to, to Steve Jobs and the, as an example as a, of a recent, recent leader, um, we see someone who engendered enormous um, commitment, not just among employees, even though he's a very difficult uh, person to work for and with. Uh, and similarly, I think you see political leaders with a certain charismatic, we, we, we could name names, the, one thinks of a Clinton, for example, or a Bill Clinton, or one thinks of religious leaders, once again, that somehow are able to put an energy into it, uh, a, a capability of, of communicating their, the, the values and, and what's, what's a strong feeling and charisma that definitely, I think, is a major impact on people's thinking about the organization. What do, what do you think? Yeah, is, that, is that good? Well, it, 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 it um, can be good. It can be problematic. Yeah. Uh, you know, for example, going back to the, to the jobs example, we the phrase commonly used was reality distortion field, where um, Eric Schmidt from Google once was talking in his earlier years about a, data, a very technical database issue with respect to Jobs. And he knew Jobs was wrong. Um, and, J and Schmidt has a PhD in the area, but he couldn't quite figure it out. And, and uh, so he walked out in the parking lot uh, of, of where, outside where we were discussing, and he saw he, 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 he was discussing with somebody else as far as where was Steve Jobs wrong? They couldn't, they were trying to figure this out. Well, these guys are very technical people. And Jobs saw them out the window when he came out. And he still started talking to them to convince them why he was right. And, and it took a long time to figure out, what, given the power of personality and the power of persuasion and the power of thought, the, the energy that was associated with that as to what was not quite right. Yeah. So it can be very inappropriate and of course in religious sense or political sense we've all seen many examples of where it can go astray yeah but but in those cases people's belief system is related to the changes their beliefs because of the power of the leader right and the change can be for good or the change can be seriously problematic and and it's not um always clear as to where goodness stops and where evil evil begins, begins. <laughs> yeah it's, it's a serious problem potentially.